we were wrong. So you had previously in your lab looked at the social reward learning critical period and you had done some experiments involving MDMA, which is very, very well known to have pro-social effects and to affect social behavior. So basically we knew from, you know, the hum- the literature that there must be a, a critical period for social reward learning, which is, you know, we think is related to why teenagers are so much more susceptible to peer pressure than adults are, why, you know, when you grow up in a certain culture, you are able to learn the rules of that culture. But, you know, years later, if you go somewhere else, you can be a little bit awkward and, uh, you know, rude, potentially, well, in a different culture, because you didn't, you your critical period for that type of social learning has already closed. Um, and so we, we had some inkling that that existed. But what my lab did in that uh, first paper was to formally define that critical period for social reward learning. And you can think of it as, you know, learning from your social environment. Uh, And what we found is, is that just like other critical periods by adulthood, it's closed. uh, And animals are really not learning from their social environment uh, in a reward based way, the way that they do when they're juveniles. But when we gave MDMA and then waited for 48 hours, then the adult animals were able to learn from their social environment again, just the way that the juveniles did. But basically what we deduced is is that that MDMA is reopening that social reward learning critical period. And Mm -hmm. we were wrong. 